enjoy week for the day. Seems it has rained here quite heavily the previous night or something. The things wet. Why ni? Hi. Enjoying the road? Four lane highway and then. Six lane. Yeah. We've been riding for about one hour now. The roads are very smooth. Not even a single pothole or a bump or anything. Average speed is 81 kilometers per hour since the time we started. So that's fantastic. Now we had some chai some time back. Now we'll be having some breakfast after some time. check post came I knew I had to slow down right now so I'll just quickly take my mobile out and set up the navigation I mean it's an easy road but it's good to have that as an accessible point just in case you need it Seema Samat Rajasthan so now this side is Gujarat we went out Gujarat that was the border that's why the check post at Ratanpur And this is the Gujarati check post. Bye bye Rajasthan. <laughs> Bypass road. Take a left turn to go towards Godhra and Vadodhra. So this this will make us uh, bypass road for four kilometers. This will be the main highway because we don't want to take any internal roads. It takes a lot of time. Uh, on the main highway, you know, we'll be able to cover distances quick. Uh, wherever we get now next. Anything like a good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll stick to the main highway. This is the best uh, road, I think. Godhra and then uh, Vadodhra. Uh, 4.2 km like deviation is there. Okay, that's okay. It's better than that internal road which I took. Hmm. Hmm. Hotel Savera. Big place. Good seating also they have. So wide, no? And I guess the washrooms also will be nice. And clean. Uh, uh. 
guys are ordering their breakfast and spider on my book. Some idli sambar and dal rice. Some tea also afterwards. It's a huge taba. The roads are quite good. I'm going to give you instructions to the owner saying, I'm sorry, I'm not going to Because the fuel range was dropping and I couldn't see any petrol pumps, so this one should fix that. We got a good mileage in Indian oil. Maya card hai na? between uh, Gujarat and Rajasthan such a big difference in the pricing Rajasthan is 116 or 118 per liter and uh, Gujarat is 105 so far 11 15 in the morning and we are we are 40 kilometers away from Godhra because we want to go to Vadodara and hopefully uh, by the end of the day reach Surat which is our target for the day total ride distance is 500 kilometers but the roads are good, experienced riders also and the pillions are super sporty so uh, we should be able to make it to Surat today. Vadodara on the left and Godhra 5 kilometers straight. So we'll be taking a left now. Okay. It's incredible how quickly you can cover distances when uh, you have riders of a similar skill has very good speed. We are at the Halol Vadodara Highway. This is the toll plaza. It is 1.20 and it's starting to get quite hot now. Vadodara is about 50 kilometers from here. Thank you. some cold water he takes care of the ambulance service here on this highway nice man just done with our lunch it's two o'clock uh, in the afternoon we are at a city called Por Por P O R we left at seven o'clock in the morning from Udaipur and today the plan is to ride all the way to Pune so we'll be roughly on the bike for 24 hours for the grand finale 24 hours on the bike 7 o'clock and we are just a little ahead of Surat stopped at this Daba called Surbi Hotel Surbi for some tea and some much needed break now Pune is still 370 kilometers from here so it should take another 8 hours according to uh, the navigation but with brakes and all I think it's going to go over 10 hours but yeah so far uh, not very tired uh, not sleepy also that's the most important thing we are roughly 350 kilometers away from Pune we've crossed Surat it's 7.15 in the evening and we have decided that we want to ride all the way to Pune without stopping or halting for the night anywhere so it's going to be an overnight journey on the motorcycle we'll be on the bike for almost 24 hours now that's going to be fun the only issue is the headlight is not powerful enough for night riding so now that's going to slow us down the highway is busy lots of dhaba options everywhere petrol pumps also 
estimated time of arrival in Pune is 2 a.m. But I'm sure with breaks and everything, another two or three hours. Fifteen kilometers before Wapi. Wapi was the first halt of this trip uh, when I was going towards Ladakh. It was raining very heavily, so I had to take shelter somewhere. So I found a hotel at Wapi, and that's where I stayed for the night. But almost three and a half weeks ago, I forgot my mobile charger's adapter in the room. So I decided that on my way back, I'll pick it up. So now I have to pick it up on the way back for one entire Ladakh trip. Epic, epic journey. And there's a train there, by the way. I don't know if you can see it. It's 9 o'clock and we we'll stop for dinner at this Kathiawadi Daba. Put these two lights behind because it's a dark highway and I want extra visibility. There are lots of trucks and because of all the luggage now my tail light is not being seen properly. So oh, it is 10 o'clock. Arrival time Pune is showing at 4 o'clock in V hours of morning. Some music. So we asked the person at the Dhaba whether we have entered Maharashtra. He says yes, now this is Maharashtra only. Bitter sweet. Bitter because I know my ride is coming to an end. And sweet because it feels good to be back home. Total distance covered so far is 5,890 kilometers. Ever since I left uh, Ladakh, I have been missing the mountains. I've always come here in the morning. This is the first time I'm coming here at night. So it was quite confusing actually which lane to take. But a truck driver told us to take a parallel lane which connects back to the highway. So we got out of the truck jam quickly. I thought we would get stuck in the evening and we are only two kilometers away from the Danu Fata. Uh, you, she was supposed to take a right turn. We want to keep going straight towards Mumbai and then Pune. So we are in the Danu area. Night it looks totally different. There are not too many private cars on the road right now. Lots and lots of trucks and trucks only. We are out of touch with Sanjeev and Pramod. 
but i've been uh, riding quite slowly for sanjeev to catch up but uh, he's still not catching up i don't want to stop here because this is in the middle of nowhere there's jungle on both the sides and it's almost 11 o'clock at night so i don't want to stop at the side of the road so i'm just going to keep moving at 70 Hi, good evening. We are 30 kilometers before Thane, and uh, we've done 700 kilometers, and been riding for 19 hours. It's definitely becoming uh, a grand finale. That's the condition of the group right now. Everybody is exhausted. We've just crossed out of Mumbai. Uh, total uh, distance that we've ridden today is 760 kilometers. Another 100 kilometers to go. We've been on the bike for 20 hours, and by the time we get home, it's going to be another three hours, or four hours, including breaks. So we'll be riding for 24 hours. Right now, everybody is taking a nap. I'm just looking after the bikes. Keep a watch on the bikes. I just had a small cup of coffee here at this place called Flora Foundation. Let them take some rest, and then after that, we will keep continuing the ride towards Pune.